Ecom Dash has introduced a new shipping workflow designed to make shipping faster, more efficient, and to simplify the process for all users. In this video, we will walk through the full process of shipping out an order from within your Ecom Dash account using one of our integrated carriers. First, we need to locate the orders we would like to ship. This can be done by navigating to Orders and clicking Paid. Here, we will see all orders that have been paid for but have not yet been shipped out. We will select the orders we are ready to ship by checking the boxes next to them and then selecting Bulk Actions, Create Shipping Order. You will then automatically be taken to your shipping queue. Your shipping queue can be accessed at any time by navigating to Shipments and clicking Merchant. Your shipping queue will display any orders that in which you have begun the shipping process but have not yet completed it. To continue, select the shipping orders and click either select shipping service to generate a shipping label or select input tracking to manually enter in a tracking number one order at a time. For this particular video, we're going to choose the select shipping service option. This will automatically take me to my shipment options page. First, I will select the carrier I would like to ship my orders out with. I can then pick the package type, confirmation, and service. I will then be able to review the orders I've selected where I can ensure I have a ship from address set, a ship to, weight, and dimensions. If I need to make any edits to weight or dimensions, I can do so by hovering over actions and selecting change weight dimensions. If I am ready to go, I can click next print labels. This will automatically take you to your pick, pack, and ship page. From here, you will be able to print pick lists and packing slips for your orders before you actually generate the label and ship them out. It will automatically be assigned a batch name, but you can enter in a name if you would like. And then ultimately, here is where you're reviewing the entire batch, making sure you're happy with your orders. You'll even be able to confirm the rates that have been selected for the shipping order based on the options you chose on the previous page. Once you're ready to get your labels, scroll to the bottom of the page and click Purchase Labels. It will then ask for any confirmation, and it will also let you know that if any shipment did not qualify for a rate, it will automatically be kicked back to the Shipment Options page, where an error message will be displayed so that you can make any corrections necessary and then be able to move forward in the shipping process. Now, once I confirm, I will then automatically be taken to the Shipping Label History page, where we will display the status. You can click Refresh to up to update the information so that you can make sure you're seeing the most up-to-date information on the batch you've just generated labels for. And now here we can see for the batch we just ran through, its status is complete and it purchased two out of two shipping labels. I can now print and view those shipping labels by hovering over actions and clicking print shipping labels. This completes the newly designed shipping workflow. If you have any questions in this process, you can reach out by sending an email to support at ecom-.com or you can take advantage of live chat by clicking the green support button in the bottom right hand corner. You can also schedule a call with us by scrolling to the very bottom of your ecom-account and clicking schedule a call. Thanks again and have a great day.